Pretty fine. Welcome, welcome back. <laughs> I know that was super was, good. Welcome back to the though. Something Original podcast, episode four. Mm-hmm. My name's Hazy, and I'm Gan. Thank you for joining me, Gan. I, how'd you like that jingle? I think, I Dude, think it's gonna go over well with the audience. I think that was fucking banging. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. That's that shit, shit kind of <laughs> went. I'm not even. That was good. Um, and if there's any other opinion on it, it doesn't matter because <laughs> it was Seriously, there. Yeah, dude, it was. It was too was, good. It was too good. It was. I thought it was. Funny. <laughs> I don't know. I, no, Rico, what are you doing? <laughs> what happened? He <laughs> stepped on my laptop. And you talk about me having antics. <laughs> he literally <laughs> stepped on my laptop, and then like everything, like kind of went away i'm still recording though so we're all yeah yeah jesus christ that's after that fucking perfect intro if we would have lost that i would have been so mad so (laughs) on topic back on topic gan how was your week it's been honestly pretty great um yeah yeah dude earlier this week they asked me (laughs) dude (laughs) so they asked me they're like hey well, they, in general, who asked you who is this? Um, i was at work right okay. and yeah. so they asked me they were like hey who wants to go outside in the rain and fucking uh you know honestly scoop out some rocks out and fucking out in the yard and for some reason dude i was like yo rain let's fucking eat it up that's what I did. Uh, I went out there, dude, and for some reason, it's weird. I'm I'm a weird person. I've I've realized that a lot. Um, but dude, it was just some about just being out in the rain. It just yeah. fucking I I'm I just realized like dude like life is what you make it, brother. I don't know, <laughs> man. I'm weird. Like no, uh, s- seriously. When I wor- used to work construction, I only worked construction for like three months. And uh, I was just like a yard guy and it would rain like once a week, you know, and those were seriously like the best days for yeah. one. You weren't able to work because everything had to be like inside at that point. But right. it, I don't know, dude, you just get a whole different vibe, especially when you're just working out in a field, not a field, but like outside all the time and just get to be hands on with a lot of stuff. And then it starts raining and you're like, oh shit, like this is the world. That's rain right you know <laughs> yeah that's what i'm saying dude yeah i just rain man i don't I, that's where i like i don't know what it is about me i think it's because when i was out in arizona it was just like a straight year of just you know heat and then it's weird because then you have these two weeks where it's just um rain they call it like the monsoon season and it's pretty much just like two weeks then I mean, it's not even really a season but dude i don't it's just like it's dry all year round but then that comes to those two weeks bro and that's bro rain it's fucking <laughs> awesome dude I, I don't know i love it i love rain yeah it just yeah i it's just a vibe honestly you like you fall asleep to thunderstorms and shit like people love that oh yeah that's me uh, no yeah worries. i mean it, it's just soothing you it's so surprising how like aggressive and like you think of like a thunderstorm it's like oh shit like bruh like rock and roll but like it's it's just so soothe it's so soothing to just fall asleep to yeah that's that's how that's how i'm feeling about it too brother it's crazy well my week my week was great thanks for asking and i was going i was about to ask you i was literally about to ask you um i I appreciate how how is your how's your week been brother man uh it's been good dude i mean just chilling i got my covid vaccine yesterday oh how'd that go uh well actually i have a story (laughs) i would like to share Oh, okay (laughs) i don't want this to discourage anybody from getting the vaccine i'm still very pro already discouraged (laughs) 
I'm all right. I, no, I'm like pro vaccine. Everybody needs to get the vaccine. I'm Moderna gang. Uh, so I went in yesterday. I went to Rite Aid to get the vaccine. They have those, like I set up an appointment and shit. Yeah. St- walk in. Top shelf. And it, not, not top shelf. I had to talk to somebody. <laughs> uh, walk in, sat down, just was chilling for like five minutes. Guy comes out. He's like, all right, you know, he was just asking me a bunch of questions. He was like, you feeling sick, blah, blah, blah. Like, after I give you the shot, and as he's talking to me, he's giving me the shot, and I didn't even notice. Like, I just had my arm rolled up. Gives mm-hmm. me the shot. He's like, yeah, so just stay here for, like, 10, 15 minutes after we give this to you just to make sure you don't faint or, like, have any, like, reactions to it. Right. I was like, cool, man. And also, like, I haven't eat. I hadn't eaten in, like – six hours at this right. point and i know you're supposed to eat like a little bit before you get any kind of shot or vaccine or even like a tattoo you know you're supposed to eat before i didn't do that and it, it was so weird i could feel the vaccine kind of coursing through my body i was like oh shit yeah modern medicine just i will racing through me. <laughs> but but I went to go sit down after, like, I had filled out more paperwork. I went to go sit down, and I was just looking at my phone. I felt really lightheaded. I almost felt nauseous. And I just had to, like, put my phone down and, like, just close my eyes. And, like, it, I almost blacked out, basically, is what I'm saying. And you say, ooh, thank you, government. Give me more. No, I'm just kidding. No, no. no. <laughs> But, I mean, I feel better now. It, it was seriously because I didn't eat. And now, right. I mean, now I feel better. Like, I feel perfect. My arm is still sore from where he gave me the shot at, but right. that's just, like, a normal side effect. I, I, when it comes to, I just can't. I don't, I, I'm not going to get into my rant. <laughs> Are you um, not going to get the vaccine? Um, Dude, I do not. Okay, so look at this. This is the way I this is the way I look at it, right? So there's a thing that like cancer we were talking about on the last episode, right? Yeah. So cancer's been out for a long time, right? They're making money off treatments, right? And then so now COVID's been out for what, a year? And all of a sudden there's a, a medicine that all of a sudden fixes it and then above that they want to get for free. So okay. very sus. I- it's not I it's not that sus. It. If you if you here here's the reasoning. I I totally understand the skepticism. For one, this is a brand new kind of vaccine. This is an mRNA vaccine. It's like brand new. They were like discrediting this for years before like they had to start doing the trials cuz they were like, "Oh shit, we need this vaccine." There's a thing like I get that, you know, yeah, they make a billions of dollars off of just treatment of cancer, but with the pandemic we saw literally every world economy shut down and that's the only thing people care about is money so when you have literally everybody not working and not producing like getting the economy rolling they're like oh shit let's fund the fuck out of this vaccine to make sure everybody starts working Hmm. and that and i did i did read something after you put it that way okay that does back that but actually makes some more sense to me because, like, yeah, you want, you they want you to be back on the market to be, like, part of their little fucking game. Yeah. Like, I'm saying in general, like, all of us just yeah. working away every day. But, you know, I get it, what you're saying now. Yeah. And, I mean, this kind of the, vaccine, too, it's the mRNA. It, like I said, it was, like, super discredited. The woman who, like, invented it was, like, almost shamed. Yeah. her like whole career when she discovered it and now i just read something they're actually trying this uh new vaccine type to like try to find a cure for aids and hepatitis and uh even cancers like certain mm. cancers too hmm. what what do you think about that gan that, that, that's pretty gangster and you got you got Credible sources, it sounds like too, which I just come with my. <laughs> I'm only come equipped with what I got between my shoulders. So, um, shit. Sometimes that's all you need, brother. You know? I, I don't know, man. Uh, 
I, I, when it comes to like medicine and stuff like that, I have yeah. like, I just look at it with my own perception, you know, rather than yeah. everything. But yeah, no, dude, I get where you're coming from. And I actually don't know what to say. That was actually a lot of good fucking. So uh, did I convince you to get the vaccine? Um, no, but that's <laughs> beside the point. Well, I'll, okay. I'll, what are you going to do it... over the summer when they are giving out these COVID or the vaccine passports? Like you're not going to be able to like go out and like enjoy your summer. Cause they're going to like, you, you're going to have to have this like COVID vaccine passport to it go just anywhere. Seems so maniacal. The whole fucking <laughs> sense of it. You do you get what you're saying? Like, what the fuck is going on, dude? What do you mean? What, like, like we're. It's just like we get forced so much to do shit. Like, you know what I mean? It's I you're know. you're not being forced. It's just like limiting your scope on what you can do. You know, I don't want a bunch of sick people being That's herded fucking... together into a concert and potentially getting other people sick i mean the the vaccine's 95 percent effective it's super good but like you can still get I see people like dying from it too it. also what like, you know what i'm saying i also see people dying from it too you don't see people the, dying the, from the, covid no from the vaccine there's that lady that passed away in utah fuck uh, I just saw oh yeah there's people that are dying uh I From just heard something. They just came out with a thing saying like people are like taking cocaine and the vaccine. She was a and... mom, bro. She was a straight up mom. She had two kids. Dude, she was like a wife. She wasn't a fucking had anything else going on, brother. Oh yeah. She was yeah. full on healthy and then two days like she takes the fucking vaccine and it's going all right for a little while and then all of a sudden she fucking just had all kinds of internal like i just don't fucking trust something that quick by any means even with fucking modern medicine like i just can't yeah. trust something that you and, like it just doesn't make any sense to me the whole fucking thing of it i don't know i just feel like it, man just <laughs> fuck i'm gonna get all bent off shape about it just yeah, don't get bent out of shape we need to try to get more public trust into it i would love to see that article what you're whatever you're referencing because yeah that is alarming for sure and I'm gonna find but it. i mean yeah it's it, it is what it is take it how you want it. i mean i'm totally for vaccinations my arm hurts right now which sucks and i'm like oh, fuck this vaccine but i mean i'm totally i'm gonna get my second dose in a month so I let you guys know if I'm still alive. Ha <laughs> ha. Three deaths. Oh uh, well, I'm just never mind. I'm not <laughs> to it. I, I literally pulled up. I pulled up how many people have died from the the vaccine deaths, and I don't. I don't want to get into it. Yeah, just, let's just yeah. let's not. Let's go off topic. So, Gannon, you want to talk? You want to tell me about your cult? Oh, I mean, it's on my bucket list for sure. Um, yeah, you can follow follow up after my uh, crazy rant with the anti-vaccine with, um, <laughs> hey, here we go, um, the bucket list idea. I just think it'd be pretty cool, like, to one day, you know, like, when I'm old and decrepit. And it wouldn't be, like, a cult, like a bad cult. It'd be, like, a cool cult, you know? Like, like a commune? Yeah, dude, like, come, come through. If you got some good energy, fucking bring it, dog. I don't even want money. I just, like, if you're trying to chill, you know? Fucking so cult. I mean, what would you? What would be the whole point of your cult? Um, just spreading love, dude. Good energy everywhere you go. That's it, man. That's all. Like, dude, it could just change your whole life. I'm telling you, if you just walk with a little bit of a lighter sense and everything, it's all about perspective. Yeah, yeah, I love that, man. Yeah, Can man. I join your cult? Oh fuck yeah! Where well, where I'm would not, you want to base this at? Um, I don't know. Somewhere fucking cool. Uh, shit. Arizona. Uh, fuck no. Oh, <laughs> I mean, Sedona's pretty. It's super oh, pretty. Yeah. Um, but if I was to place my cult, my fictional cult, I don't know. It'd be somewhere. We'd be just chilling. Uh, California probably. <laughs> that seems that seems appropriate. I feel like there are a lot of cults in there California. Are. There Scientology. are. Boom. <laughs> that's, a whole Scientology. Other, that's a whole other can of worms. <laughs> it's, 
it's crazy that that's classified as a religion. It's it's a hundred and ten percent a cult. I mean, yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know. Well, I, I, I know nothing about Scientology, and I like I don't ever like to give. Um, like I, I don't know if I don't know anything about Scientology, but I just hear that Tom Cruise was, like does it, or that he was a part of it. I guess he he takes semen pills. Wait, that's what I, they have certain members do. What is this? Wait, what? Dude, this, this is, is what I hear about, me. bro. No I, fucking way. No fucking way. Watch me what? get offed for like talking about this shit. Oh, I know, dude. Wait, what are we? <laughs> I'm kind of scared, actually. <laughs> um. Wait, where did you hear this? That's crazy. I never heard of uh, that. I think I read something about it. Like, I heard what? about, like, I read a something like how Scientology is a cult, and they started, like, you know, they, like, talked to people that were, like, going through the processes and that, uh, like, I don't know, like, didn't make it or something, or people that were in it and were like, Ugh, yeah. I need to get out of this. This is a cult. That. Uh- See, I'm see. That's what I'm talking. Like my cult would not be nothing like that. You wouldn't fuck. be taking semen pills? Fuck no, dude. There's a lot better, better. Never mind. A lot better stuff to be taking. But um, then yeah, than that, my friend. I I heard something. I forget who said it. I heard it a while ago. But he uh, whoever said he was like comparing religion to a cult and he basically was just like the only difference between a religion and a cult is that the person who founded it is dead whoever like that's a, a religion who whoever is creating an an ideal ideology mm-hmm. i don't know how to say it i'm fucking can't can't pronounce ideology words, but ideology yeah, yeah. yes that's it uh, whoever creates that, and if they're dead, it's classified as religion. Uh, if they're still alive, it's cult. Because hmm. the guy, the I Scientology mean... guy, he he died. Uh, yeah. Like I think during the process of them trying to make it a religion, and since he was dead, it kind of like pushed it over the hump. I guess. Don't take my word for it. I actually have no idea, but this is just shit. You know, I'm, no, hey, I'm speculating. Conspiracies, man. Hey, I eat it up. Give, just give me more, sir. More conspiracies. I, I'm, I'm here for it. Uh, <laughs> wait. Okay. You, you go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh no, I mean, so I, I don't want to ever start a cult. I kind of want to. I kind of do want to start like my own commune. This is how I want to go. I have a master plan of my life. Okay, the podcast is literally the first step. Like I'm, I'm already going through my master plan. Manifest. I'm not going to tell everybody my master plan because I don't want people to steal my idea. Mm-hmm. But it all ends up with me owning like a giant plot of land. I want to start my own commune. I want to like have a bunch of friends or like like-minded individuals mm-hmm. just come stay in this area with me, and like I want to build like a giant like compound almost. Like yeah. a compound castle, I feel like futuristic so, castle. Yeah, there you go. Okay, compound has such a negative stigma to it, but when you say yeah, castle, yeah. now we're talking. I'm here. Yeah, dude. It, wouldn't that be so cool? Everybody gets yeah. their own castle. Fuck it. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. I want a fucking castle. God damn. Give you me want to fucking... merge our cults and my commune oh. together? Yes, sir. That'd be sick. <laughs> Dude, I want to I wanna have it like in the middle of the woods somewhere and like yeah. next to an ocean also. That's just like the perfect okay. scenario for me. I'm vibing. That's that's tight. So where <laughs> are you thinking? You thinking like California, maybe like Oregon, mm. Washington? Ireland. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> you said castles and for some reason I just picture like never mind. Castles. No, let's make like modern futuristic castles. Because it's going to be in the future. It's going to be oh, way that's down right. in the future. Well, I don't want to. I don't want futuristic stuff. Um, I like. The, I like the, the sleekness of it. Honestly, like if I'm talking about, it, I don't know why we're talking about castles now. But if I had a castle, I would honestly want it just totally painted black. Like I want like whatever stone oh, it to yes. be. I feel like it would just look so cold. Like, it's, bro, like 
Man, if I had my own castle, that month, jeez, that would be sweet. Matte black. Oh yeah, oh yeah, some kind of like brimstone or something. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? I have like a like a moat with like alligators and shit. You know? A dragon. Oh fuck yeah! If I could find one, <laughs> god damn. Do you think there's a theory that uh, dinosaurs were actually dragons? And the reason why they haven't found, like, any dragon fossils is because, like, the bones would have been hollow, and it's just easier to, like, break down over time, you know? Yeah. Do, do you believe that? I, honest, dude, I look at mythology in, in the sense, and, like, dude, like, there's Chinese mythology that shows dragons, dude. There's Viking mythology that shows dragons. Everything, like, dude, every, like... I'll go into all dragons, bro. Every like his, everybody in history, you know, if you look around at all the different continents that have recorded history, and I've talked about dragons. Yeah, dude, I I fucking I firmly believe that dragons were, you know, here. Well, I do. What are they I, not telling us, dude? There's so much they're not telling us, and I could get into that. But I, I just feel like a lot of people that. It's just like people need to open their minds to things instead of like just stay so closed in, you know? Yeah. Speaking of dragons, do you ever want to play D and D with me? Dude, I'm too down. I'm an elf Dude. and I will I already got you, bro. I got you. I'm elf necromancer. I'm there. <laughs> I wanna play D and D so bad. I've never played before. Wait, I wanna you've never play played? so bad. Dude. I've never fuck. played. Dude, I'm too down. You t- bro, I Man, you know me, bro. I'm a full on nerd. I'm too down. Uh, but yeah, dude. But when... Shiloh, Shiloh doesn't want to do it, but yeah. I'm gonna like kind of make her do it. It'd be fun to just like get together yeah. with some some friends and like drink and just yeah. fucking play D and D, dude. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it'd be so fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh. Is that Jesse? Is that Jesse? You're saying what's up? You can? Yeah. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Sorry about that, man. Um, no, you're good. Yeah. You weren't saying anything. Well, yeah, uh, it's my brother who came in. I was talking to him for a second. Um, but so, so how do you want to go out, like oh. in life? Oh, how do I want to go out in life, dude? Honestly. I was thinking about it more and more. Like, um, so, the more, sorry, there's people moving around. But, (laughs) if I could go out, I think it would probably be, like, when I'm like, well, are we talking like, like ideal, like heroic sense? Are we talking like, you know, like, just like how you want to, like, basically retire? Um, dude, retire. Hmm. I never really, I never really thought too much into it. Um, I kind of just live it day by day now. But going out, huh. going out, probably somewhere nice, man. Somewhere <laughs> like surrounded by, you know, have somebody in my life, you know. Oh yeah. Just, Hopefully. <laughs> you never know yeah. but um that's how ideal i think you know somewhere sweet somewhere chilling got like a yeah. little lake and shit i don't know some dogs and whatnot i don't know dude i'm and if i was talking oh. more of the heroic sense it'd be like going down hail fire fucking <laughs> for what i believe in you know i don't give a fuck you know there's yeah. there's two sides to like my you know mind on how i would go out for sure you know, but no, nah, I think I like it just chilling, bro, for real. Oh yeah, that's that's good. Don't you have like a specific dog that you want to get? Oh, what, what's con- it called? The Conicorso. Yeah, it's this, um, <laughs> bro. It is this beautiful. It's bro. They're like starting price for those are like two thousand dollars though, but they're um I think they, I I don't want to give a wrong answer, but. I'm pretty sure they're Spanish, but they're sounds I, Spanish. They're such a strong looking breed. Like I just love the way they and like they just 
I don't know. I just think this is fucking cool. I would love to have like one or two Kanye Corsos, like some, like, you know. That'd be sick too, because I do like dogs, man. Dogs are fucking cool, man. I like dogs too. I have a cat right now. He's yeah. still fucking constipated. It's so annoying. Oh my God, I have another story. Okay. Listen to this. Okay, so last podcast, throwback to last podcast, I was like, oh, Miko's constipated because he eats toilet paper. Well, he was still constipated the whole week this week. Yeah. And finally Thursday, we were just like, okay, he's obviously like super uncomfortable. We need to take him to the vet. We take him to the vet. They give him an enema. He yeah. shits all over the place at oh, the vet, geez. not at our place, but yeah. he... um we were like take giving him a bath because the vet didn't like clean his butt he had like poop all over his butt oh my god as we were t- giving him a bath uh shiloh thought uh his like butthole like was sticking what the out fuck are you like his rectum t- was sticking out oh yeah it wasn't it was like Damn. actually where he was neutered at so he just has like a like a bump in that area okay but we didn't know that, so we were we called the vet. We were like, we think his rectum is like coming out of his butt, you know. What the fuck? We okay. we send I was, I, was the, a, I was ready for this conversation. Um, yeah, it's yeah. it's crazy. We okay. send the vet a picture of Miko's butthole, and at that at that moment, I just thought like, how shitty of a job is that? Like, you receive butthole pictures of animals all day long and that's just like a common thing in your job that i would suck and i'd probably not do that job i would probably strive for a different job i don't care how much they fucking pay me (laughs) no i i seriously was like why am i sending a picture of my cat's butthole through an email and some poor soul has to (laughs) that's their job is to answer the email and just look at pictures of animals buttholes like area wherever like just all the gross stuff that normal people shouldn't see oh i that that would suck a lot actually that'd be fucking awful i would not want that (laughs) ever I think Miko's fine now. He's still constipated, but he he acts like he's okay. But just yeah. just for everybody out there, Miko's all right. He's doing okay. I think. Yeah, that's good. I'm his butthole is that. not protruding out of his butthole. Yeah, that's that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad it's not, dude. <laughs> that would be a very bad day for anybody, for any animal or person. Yeah, dude, your rectum's going out of your butt. No way. <laughs> but I, it, um, I, I'm pretty sure if that ever happens, like you're dead, right? Like if you're, right? I would, I would guess so. Um, I would want to die. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> surely, surely, I would want to die. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I was not ready. For this conversation by any means dude, um, in life you're gonna need to get ready for these questions what if you ever have kids dude and they're like uh, dad what happens if my butthole comes out of my butthole i say i'll say all right take a deep breath put it right back all right <laughs> and that's it yeah we call it a day i wouldn't let my do you, no do you... i i would no no way i would definitely make sure that my kids i I already know how i'm gonna be as a parent i just be i don't know i just feel like i'd be super overprotective but at the same time like i hope i want them to learn in life but at the same time it's like oh there's so much pain also you oh know? yeah ah oh, you know, that's where i'm torn so, i feel like it's so like, do you want kids i do i do eventually like you know Cause, dude, it's like it's like your own little you running around, bro. Like, yeah, it's, for sure. Like it's like or half of you. In the essence of it, I think is I think is awesome. I really do. Yeah, I'm kind. I'm but, I'm honestly like pretty torn about it. Like when I was younger, I was like, oh fuck yeah, like I definitely want to have kids. And then as I got older and realized how shit the world is, you know, 
like especially with climate change and stuff about to fucking devastate (laughs) our whole lives uh why would i want to bring a a child into that you know like why would i because they'll be so young when it's all happening and it's just like oh like they don't know like they they are just always supposed to be like happy and fulfilling and but then like they're just thrown into a mess they will learn to overcome i hope dude through everything in life you learn to overcome but what if there's nothing to overcome you know like what if everything just you overcome yourself everybody boom dude what? i'm just saying everything i'm just saying like i i do want to have kids and it doesn't like matter when i don't know man i know the world sucks i do but like man just i don't know <laughs> yeah i really don't man I mean, I want to have kids. I think me and Shiloh were at a point in our relationship where we have had talks. Right. Uh, but I think we're also kind of on the same page of like, why would we want to bring a kid into this world? You know? I don't know. It's just like, I would definitely love to have a kid and maybe try to survive an apocalyptic event with my child. I think that would just give me some dope fucking but you can't constantly live in sick fear. street cred you know you know well no that's what i'm saying I'm, I'm agreeing with you but like you can't live in fear about like you know the world constantly you know that's, i just feel like that's what the world wants is just to live in fear overcome and that's what oh. i would teach my kids all constantly like the pain will come yeah it comes sometimes so fucking hard but what you do is you just gotta you gotta honestly just take that in and i'm telling you love bro i know i keep i keep fucking talking about it but i'm telling you like just that's what i would want to teach them constantly well i mean yeah that's what i'll teach my kids too but what happens if like the world's on fire you know like you, it's gonna be hard there? to be like just love to your kid you know just be like love everything like dad the fucking world's on fire just love like that's what i'm trying to say like yeah you know you can try well, to bring yeah, them up, obviously teach them pre- like really nice principles yourself. and stuff but it's just and that's another know. thing protect yourself like dude fucking the world that's what i'm saying if the world is on fire are probably done by fucking higher powers we all know that if they wanted to fucking drop bombs on us at any time they could but i don't know man like I don't know. I feel like so. Do you th- do you think it's definitely like the oil industry, the military complex? You know, this is a fucking political rant, but we you know, need to. We need the, the w- climate change is a serious thing that we need to all talk about. We need to take seriously. Why aren't we like fully invested into like solar? Because like that is the most dude, natural look at element out there. Like we, the sun is just all radiation. And then like, why don't we just utilize that? Why don't we just spend all of our time and energy trying to develop the best solar technology possible? You can't make money off of it. That's why. Well, yeah. Well, With we every haven't situation. Had, we haven't tried to make money off of it. It's just all the oil companies. That's why they off the guy that made the fucking water car, you know? We had a fucking car that could just run on water, and the fucking oil companies just offed him because they were like, oh, we don't want competition. That will literally be a game changer. It will drive us out of business. That's why we have, like, the rail, the highway system that we have. That's why I don't trust the have. government. That's why I don't trust, like, anything that comes from them, ever. It's not even the government. I mean, it's the government, but it's it's the I private trust, company, like, you know? You, like, you could talk about, like, I don't know, man. Oh, I don't want to get heated. <laughs> See, and this is also the fucked up world that I don't want my kid to be in, you know? Yeah, I agree with you. So let's go on to a lighter, lighter note. Uh, are you a DC or Marvel? Oh, I okay. am. Okay. So I do appreciate the Marvel Cinematic Universe, what they do. I do think it's pretty cool. But I'm a DC guy, dude. Um, like, fucking Green Lantern's my favorite. Hands down, bro. He's just 
like his power is will and like dude yeah i'm a dc guy all the way i could go in but what about you brother um i grew up watching and reading spider-man like spider-man's definitely my number one hero so i guess that would make me marvel i understand the dc universe is a lot more interesting and it's a lot more darker and that's why i think it's a lot more interesting marvel just it has a better cinematic universe like from recency bias you know Mm. but i i don't know i would still say marvel is my favorite because i just have been able to fall in with those superheroes because of yeah like i said recency bias but and i'm not like super familiar with any of the main dc superheroes oh, except bro, for like I batman could... superman you know yeah i could go in bro there's so dude oh man you... like there's did you extra, watch uh there's extra zach extra snyder's game. justice league i did and that's what i'm saying like the i feel like they're gonna keep failing with those honestly because they're just like they're trying they're trying to pull too hard on them and that's what yeah. i hate to see is like I don't know. I hate to see, like. I want DC to win, you know, a movie for once, you know. <laughs> but that's where we got like the TV shows, bro. We got the uh, bro. The comics go in, bro. I read through the Darkest Light, um, the Darkest Night, I think, or no, Darkest Light, and it was the um, Green Lantern series. But it's so good, like, dude. I don't know. I'm a super big nerd, um, bro. I fucking love DC. <laughs> I do. I think they're it's amazing. But I have read yeah. Marvel comics, dude, and and all that, and it's pretty good stuff too, dude. I mean, like, I still like Star Lord's one of my other favorites. Like, he's fucking awesome, and his backstory is amazing. Isn't he like the son of God? Uh, half, kinda. Yeah. Half. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. Well, like, uh, yeah. So why wouldn't I like him? He's he fucking he's OP already right out the gate. <laughs> he like doesn't even have like super pow- superpowers though. He's just bro. like a guy in a suit. Okay. See, you got to read the comics now. See, if you want to like Marvel, you got to read the comics. They do, they're not doing any kind of justice because Drax alone should be able to take Thanos if it was like talking on the scale of like their powers dude Drax alone should be able to take Thanos um but dude you should definitely if you wanted to dive into some comics bro read the backstory behind the Guardians alone like this crazy it's crazy oh I will I'm I'm starting to get into reading manga all the time. I read mm. I read 19 chapters of Attack on Titan to get ready for the last chapter that came out yesterday. Yeah. And oh boy. I highly recommend Attack on Titan manga. The anime won't start again until like next winter. God, I can't can't even imagine but the last chapter just came out i'm starting to watch or i'm starting to read a lot more manga i'm gonna start reading jujitsu kaizen Mm. i'm i'm excited for it but yeah i wonder because the way i'm reading it is through like uh books on the app so i wonder if they have like comic books too i'm sure i'm dude i'm sure they do i'm sure they do I usually do. You want to uh, you want to read copy. comic books together, dude? Yeah, I'm down. I, I usually do paper copy. Honestly, I usually go to the comic store. I'm that guy. I'll go into a comic store. I fucking You're love an it. Old that. soul, dude. I do. I like it, bro. It's just like the authenticity of it to me. It's just like I have it. Like I have the, and I guess that's like kind of like you should look past the material or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But no, dude. I just like to see it. You know. I I, I like to have it. I don't know. Well, I'd be time, seeing my little. stuff too on the phone. Yeah, I, I get know. what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Yeah, it's fine. It's okay. I like the sentiment. I like the sentiment behind it. You know, it's like, wow, I found this copy. Fuck yeah! I didn't have to. You know what I mean? I didn't like. I can just search it on a line. It's like more of like, oh man, I found it instead of like, oh, I found it two seconds later. So, uh, since we're on the topic of, like, superheroes and comic books and stuff, if you 
let me just ask you this if you had any superhero power in the world what would it be Uh, just one just one oh just one just one telekinesis 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 easy why is that because telekinesis i can move anything with my mind so then that could actually go farther i could actually levitate myself with my mind so then i could fly homie telekinesis is op that's one of the most op someone comes at me boom done you know and then if i could have more than one it would be uh, telepathy on top of that so that I know where my enemy's coming and then they're just done no no like you know what I mean there's no okay so like <laughs> I should have preferenced it by saying like what if you were the only person on the planet with a superpower mm. and you really couldn't be a superhero per se you would just have a unique ability that's all on your own to just help you out in your day to day life would you still do telekinesis Hmm. No, actually, extreme empathy. That's what I would want. Like, I don't want to read people's. I don't want to read people's minds. Yeah, dude. No, like honestly, I don't want to read people's minds because that's their business. Um, if I'm talking regular day to day life, dude, like I just want to be able to heal, like help people heal. Like trauma is fucking everywhere. I know it. I I would honestly want extreme empathy. Like honestly, like I just be able to feel people's pain, so then I could better articulate how i respond to that if you know what i mean you you would uh so your power is what you're saying is you would want to just be able to understand yeah how people like you're saying regular like you said regular life right you said regular oh, life yeah, yeah. situations like i don't want to in but that you, case you i don't want a power to just be able to heal like how somebody's feeling yeah i don't know because then that, that just makes it real, you know, flashy. I guess if we're talking regular life, well, I thought it you can meant be like flashy, dude. I mean, I'm um, just saying, then, yeah, dude. I want to heal, person. bro. I want to be able to heal everyone. That's that's what it is. Yeah, dude. I get what you're saying now. Yeah, I want to be able to heal. Honestly, in a in a real world scenario, I probably still take telepathy because I want to fly. Telepathy's reading the mind. Oh wait, what telekinesis? Telekinesis is gangster. Yeah, you. Wow, you, we want both want the same power. Weird. Well, no, you want empathy. I want uh, te- uh, telekinesis. Oh yeah, would you sit? Okay, never mind. I want to just be able to fly, dude. Never mind. You know how I... fucking simple my life would be. It'd be like, oh, I want Chipotle. I'm gonna fly to Chipotle. Fuck traffic. That's and then like you know what? I don't even have to go inside the store. I can just like move my bag over to me because i order online i'm one of those guys if you don't order online start fucking doing it just skip the line bro take my fucking bag off the counter and just like bring it to the door open the door without even having to touch the door chipotle in my hand chipotle if you want to sponsor us we are open email is i will send it to you uh after the podcast because i don't want (laughs) to put the email out there (laughs) <laughs> I, dude, what? so you you would want to fly so you would want to be able to fly so you could better get stuff like on yeah. a daily basis okay yeah i guess you i mean if yeah. and if i was on a hot date with shiloh i could be like hey babe you want to fly and i could just yeah. fucking pick her up oh, that's and true. fly us to a oh, fucking... that's a mean flex yeah because you're like hey man you want to go to greece Bob, we're in Greece. Yeah, okay. As you know, you win. Yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, I get you. I I like your power though. I like what you're trying. Oh to no, do. no, it's fine, dude. It's fine. Mine, mine's but dumb. <laughs> mine's like more selfish, I guess. No, not at all. <laughs> um, wait. There was a there was a question earlier where you asked me. And I wanted to see your take on it. I gotta what, did, pull what did I ask you? And what do you want to know about me? Um, I gotta pull up the footnotes, the little footies, real quick. <laughs> um, footies. Yeah. Okay. Pull... How how are you guys, audience? How's everybody doing today? Um. Oh, good. We are all transcendent <laughs> beings in the <laughs> nether realm. 
No, I'm just kidding. Um, Did you guys like our intro music? Oh, I hope they do. I really do. That was a fucking banger. I'm not cutting it either. I'm not. Okay. I hope not. It's the oh, wait. intro. Dude, I just realized we've just been talking. Oh, you've used like only a couple of these. We've just been talking, really. That's pretty, that's pretty good. I know. There's a I've whole lot of different off topics. Of it, but... Yeah, we just been going in. Uh, well, dude, what was your question? Um, what, like, how do you think we wait? How how do we think we evolved? How how do you think we evolved? I'm sorry, I read it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so dumb. I was like reading it, and then how how do you think we evolved, Chase, my friend? Well, we started from Stardust. Stardust, um like it just fucking rotated and like collided and that's how the earth was made it mm. was a giant ball of lava and then it cooled and then it was lava again and then it cooled again and then now we got <laughs> oceans uh there's shit starting to develop at the bottom of the ocean we were like fucking slime at the yeah. bottom of the- we were literally bottom feeders at one point mm-hmm. we decided to fuck it let's grow some legs got onto land fucking kept evolving that way we were definitely like like uh neanderthals right yeah and then the the theory is like we started taking uh philocybin mushrooms and that's that's something that like it's called the stone ape theory (laughs) what no way so literally the vitamin that it helped wow it Sorry. helped like bring us to a different path. It like helped us like open up more of our mind to help us evolve faster than what our regular pace would have been. It makes sense to me. I guess there do you know there were like other species of humans on the planet at one point? I did not know this. There were Scientists have been like, yeah, there have been like, I don't know how many. There have been at least three that I can think of. I don't know the names, but they're, they're there. Hmm. Uh, There were people that had no heads and they uh, had their face like on their chest area. Wait, There are like drawings. There are like cave drawings of this. Oh, like hieroglyphs? Of this? Yeah, kind of, but like, but it's like, it's like documented in like a weird way. I don't know. What do you mean? People, like, people have made paintings Elaborate. of it too, or something. It's not like hieroglyphics. Hy- what? It's, it's like a painting. It's like an actual, like, drawing in oh, a book or something. Um... And it's like, it's not, it's not like, I, well, I hope it's not science fiction, but it's like, it's not hieroglyphics. It's, it. um, I don't know. I think I know you're talking about, but it's, like, it's not it's like etched. Book. It's in a book. Yeah, that's weird though. Because then, if you think about it, like how they recorded, it, uh, like, you know, their times and stuff like that. That that's pretty advanced for that time, right? Uh, yeah. You, Do you think you know like I mean? maybe aliens came down and also helped us along um, the way? Hell yeah! To, like, that's what develop. I was gonna say on my side. Uh, that's I mean, dude, honestly, I I was hoping you brought it up because I didn't want to seem crazy. I, that's where <laughs> I think a lot of this shit is. Oh man, I'm fucking crazy. Fuck it. Uh, yeah, dude. No. I don't know. Uh, I think that's what happened. I just like to think of the, you know, it's like a lot more like majestic than you know. But yeah. that's just me just wanted to think more about it. But, dude, I think aliens had a, a take for sure. And, but. Yeah. With the people, I, w- I want to hear more about the people. Like, dude, I need to look into that because that's interesting. Definitely look it up. Yeah. I, I, I think I saw a TikTok. It's bizarre. not super credible, but yeah, th- they were citing sources from wow. somewhere. But. <laughs> I think fucking it sounds amazing. fucking real. Oh, that dude, fucking dude. guy, Hank Green on TikTok. I think Hank he Green. made a video about it. I don't know. He's someone you can trust. Are you sure? I think so. He's a scientist and he's All verified. Right. All right. All right. I might check him out then. Do you not do you not ever see Hank Green's uh TikToks? Dude, I don't even really I swear to like I know that it seems 
Weird. I really don't even get on my... I don't use my phone a whole lot. Like, I talk to you, and then I talk to, you know, person, and then uh, it's pretty much my family, dude. <laughs> That's all the time I hear. I almost want to switch to a flip phone, to be honest. Why? I don't know, dude. I just... I don't know. I'm weird. You are weird. <laughs> well, why would you want to, like... I just feel dude, like social a media is iPhone just, like... is so nice. You cut out for a second. An iPhone is so nice. In what retrospect? Like, like you literally it, what, have the fucking makes internet so nice? at your fingertips. Why do we need it? Like all the time. We don't need it all the time. I'm just saying it's fucking useful. Why would you want to like limit the possibilities of your? I, like... I could just use my laptop if I wanted to like look up stuff. I could just go to my laptop. Are just you just like, gonna have that? your laptop on you at all times? No, but if I'm gonna do research on something, I won't want to have to go through like the blocks of social media to get to it you know well, you I mean? don't have to go through social media you can go through like fucking google well i don't know man I <laughs> just, just delete I just... social media oh i have a beef with you why we posted a very funny clip of i did of us yeah on the podcast very funny it was the orphan one yeah. Got some pretty good reception, not the best, but I was going through the likes on TikTok and I didn't see Dude, you I don't even I like, like I said like I said, Chase, I have not gotten on social media really at all, dude. And I and I know you like TikTok, but dude, I feel like that one's just like like if you want to get stuck on a social media site for hours, that's the place to do it. So that's why I honestly stay away. Because no, dude, I do see where you're coming from, and it's healthy. Like I, see I would you, just hope like that it. you would support the podcast in any oh, way, yeah, shape, dude. or form. Oh, I will. I will. You know what? I'll get on TikTok after this, and I will like that picture. You just have to search some original pod on TikTok. Shout out mm. some some original pod <laughs> on something original podcast. All you have to do is type that in, go to the second video, and boom, boom, boom. You just gotta like it, and you're good. Maybe leave right. a comment. I will leave a comment. And it's going to say... Make comment. sure you like it. I will. Copy link. Post it everywhere. <laughs> yes. That's true. Sorry. I, I sorry guess... I had to... Sorry no, I had to dude. call you out on that. No, I'm... Uh, well, I'm... That's the thing, dude. I, like, everyone has always said that. Like, it doesn't matter if I'm working with music or if I'm doing, you know, anything. They're like, dude, you just don't promote enough. Like I'm, I don't know, dude. I just like making shit. I don't know, and like if people like it, from like the people that see it, I don't know. But no, dude, I will definitely get better at it. I do need to get better at it. Because like I tell I you like when I'm this. uploading it, and you're like, awesome. You like the one on Instagram. I'll give you that. But and I, I posted them. I posted the orphan one on my Instagram story. I did do that. My granny Insta- commented. She hated it. She was just like, what the fuck is this even about? I'm like, oh, oh, granny, you don't even know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see this. <laughs> oh, it was, it was your granny not like me? <laughs> well, no, no, no. She just didn't understand. I had to like, because she just saw that clip, right? And she just took yeah. it out of the context of like, what the fuck? And then, you know, and then so I had to like explain to her like everything that was going on. I'm like, you know, this is like a show that me and my friend are doing. And uh, it's pretty cool, you know. We do we we talk about all kinds of shit, really. If you want to ever tune in, uh, <laughs> but she, yeah, she was like, I don't know, you kids and your technology, and I'm like, I feel you there, Granny. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> it's so crazy that you are so like disconnected from technology. I just feel like sense. it's a toxin that is, you want you want to see just nothing but fucking mostly people. Like it's just like. I don't know, man. Like, there's, like, go out, like, go, like, be amongst people, you know, instead of like. Well, not right now. We're like... in a panorama. Oh Jesus! Um, <laughs> Get vaccinated. Yeah. Um. But yeah, dude. I don't know. That's what I'm gonna leave it at because it's already almost that time. What you don't want to keep going? We were doing so good, dude. We could go yeah. forever. Well, you want to stay up all night and talk about the boys we like? 
about the what we like? The boys we like. The boys we like. What are you talking about? Dude, it's what? just a joke. Oh, God, dude, not. Are you uh, not like? Oh, I in... just didn't. I just didn't get the. I get what you're saying now. Like you're saying like a joke. It's just like as if we were like girls at a sleepover. I get it now. My bad. At first, I was like, wait, what? No, I get you, bro. Let's do it, man. Zach Efron, dude. I wish I could look like him. That's the way I always look at. Him. I'm like, dude. I wish I could fucking look like that guy. Or Jason Momoa, I, the guy that plays Aquaman. I wish I could look like him. Fuck the yeah. the number one guy I would risk it all for, what? Christian Bale. Dude, yeah, dude. I mean, yeah. That's Gavin's. That's actually what Gavin always says. He's like, dude, I wish I could look like Christian Bale. No, dude. I'm like he, his part, American Psycho. Fuck yeah, dude. He, that's a that's a dude right there, man. No, dude. I feel you. That's the way I always yeah. look at us. Like, you know what? I wish I could look like that guy. You know, like fuck. But dude, uh, yeah, he's just so he's he's so perfect. You know. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. And I feel like people that are comfortable with themselves can honestly say that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, people just people are just so weird about like saying, like, dude, you know, like, dude, Zac Efron, that's good looking dude. <laughs> are you, you know? into Zac Efron? <laughs> you know, I'll, I'm just saying. I just think, like, I wish I could look like them. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like super go. comfortable Talk with my sexuality. Like I'm okay with like, oh, you know, that guy's oh, attractive. Yeah. Like I'll put it out there knowing I'm still gonna be straight at the end of the Blast day. Blast See? And then once you get past those kind of perceptions on life, that's what I'm saying, dude. You yeah, just being we just comfortable. Need to stop being so closed minded. Like, dude, yep. just be human. Like if right. you if your body is telling you like, oh, that fucking dude's attractive you can totally be like yeah that dude's attractive <laughs> and still like women at yes, the end of the day yeah. uh, dude I'm, I'm, I'm dude i i think dude i I've, t- I've had multiple conversations with my friends about this i'm like dude it's just like you know people just need to live dog that's what it is yeah sir, go out there fucking look yeah. at dudes and be like wow you're hot <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude go outside right now essentially essentially dude well i'm not in the middle of nowhere right now so it's like wow nice bird uh, did we ever <laughs> talk about the uh distance between us right now we're doing this isolated i'm doing oh, yeah. this alone in my living room with miko gan's doing it alone in his room in lewisburg oh yeah <laughs> so what so how how is it out there good old hometown of lewisburg I mean, like I, dude, I'm telling you, bro, I don't know what it is about me, but I'm just, I'm good. Wherever I'm at, I always want to strive for more. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I've learned that I just like to be content where I'm at and know that I will get to where I need to be when I need to. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like that, like, there's a good fine line between stress and success, dude. Like you have your goals you know in life go for those you know strive for them every every single day wake up and just greet them but then you know don't stress about it so much that it's fucking you know eating you up inside dude that's how i look at it so but lewisburg it is lewisburg and (laughs) if you've been to lewisburg you know it's not the greatest but in there's it's got its little touches i don't know I mostly like. I would outside. not recommend. Lewisburg. Yeah, and it's definitely not like a tour spot. Like I wouldn't say, "Yo, if you're in Ohio, go to fucking Lewisburg." No, I would not. I'd say, "Go to Yellow Springs, motherfucker." But you know what I'm saying? Oh, when are we going to Yellow Springs together? We got dude? to. I'm. I've been trying. I'm about to just make my own little commune bus if anybody wants to go. <laughs> um, Do you have no. a bus to bring down here? <laughs> I might get a rental. I I don't know. I'm, now I'm thinking about it. Fuck it. I might get a rental. <laughs> I might get a rental. Uh, yeah, dude. Um, we should do that very soon. I would love that. Um, also, if anybody yeah. wants to play D and D with us, hit us. Also, up, cause... yes. Wait, I think there's a way to do it online. There is. Bro, oh, dude, what? I I think it'd be better if we do it in person though oh definitely it would just be like that kind of like energy yeah. it's a different kind of energy for sure oh, no i've i've played uh, yeah i've played i'm not scared to admit i have played D, dude i've uh 
Wait, who? I wanted to make, ask you that earlier. That's what it was actually. If what's your D and D character, dog? Like, it, uh, I don't know. I have no idea. Like, what the certain dude, characters are. It's, you make you make your character for D and D. I know, but I just I've never played it and I've never like gotten into it, so I don't like, you know don't, what you, kind of character. You I don't know what myth a lot like what in that realm what you would be like you can't just like you like a wizard you don't want to be a wizard or a knight or a cleric or a, you know what i'm saying like you don't that's what i'm asking you like i want to know all be? my options you said what i want to know all my options dude do you know anything about it like like you're just gonna jump into this full on yeah you're i just, just gonna jump just... in dude i have no idea what i'm doing um well you gotta, you gotta at least know what you want to be, like in your mind, before. Well, I want to get you. it set up. I don't want to do all this fucking planning and research on my character if I'm not gonna even be able to play. No, oh, man. If there's a will, there's a way. So yeah, hit us up if you want to be a part of this D and D. If you're local, maybe even if you're not local, we right. could maybe try to do something. Oh, dude, we could do like a community D and D night. That's what I was trying to say. We could do it online. You get a bunch of people in on it, dude. The more people, the better. Also, with that kind of game, the more people, the better. So, isn't it like? Doesn't it take sometimes like a couple days? Oh like, fuck yeah. We gotta oh, have people that like, are willing to do it. Yeah, you got to be invested. And, but it's like, but it's like you could pause it at any time. You know, it's like you have all your shit set up, and it's like, well, we got work tomorrow, guys. So uh, let's uh, pack it up tonight and uh, stop going down trying to destroy trolls. But uh, <laughs> anyways, well, uh, what, are you are you good? Are we? Should we end it? Oh, I I do. I yeah. I mean, well, I think so. I think it's a pretty good one, honestly. I yeah, mean, this was really I, actually a really good one. We got an intro now. Back the fuck up. Should we, should we do the outro the same way? Oh, wait. Here, let me get the. Let me get it here. So, okay. Da, 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 da. Yeah, oh my like god oh uh. <laughs> oh my jesus christ it's too much heat bro too much heat no shiloh started calling me <laughs> it was oh. going through my headphones oh i'm that, that would, i'm sure that was a cluster it hurt my ears because it was so loud jesus christ miko what are you doing i thought you were talking about the heat off that song but also yeah oh sorry sorry oh dude we fucking ruined your outro song I did. Sorry. It's all good. I'll sorry, you dude. It. I'm sorry. It's, fine. I'm it's sorry. fine. That was something original, guys. <laughs> good night. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. This was something original, episode four. I was hazy. And I was, am, and will always be Gan. Peace. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Gan. Bye. <laughs>